It's an exciting day here. This is a special class. Great group of guys that signed up. First and foremost, the coaching staff has done an awesome job up to this point. A lot of hours um, for recruiting, film evaluating, uh, tours on campus, spring, summer, throughout the fall. Uh, we did a great job throughout the season of, of continuing a really strong push in recruiting and, and it's, it showcases that today. If you look at the class top to bottom, it's a very deep class and uh, both sides of the ball. Uh, we did a great job up front, bringing in the size and the, and the depth and athleticism on both the O-line and D-line. And when you go through all the commits and look at the explosiveness at, at the skill positions, you know, at the wide receiver, running back wise, and also in the secondary on defense, you know, you'll see there's some next level athletes coming to Colgate next year. And you also see our, our um, you know, something we take pride in. You know, there's a lot of tough, hard-nosed football players. They can run and they can hit, um, but they play with the chip on their shoulder that uh, Colgate football loves to see. So overall, uh, it's a special class up to this point. You know, we still have some work to do. Uh, there's still some pieces we got to fit into it to make it a great class. Um, but up to this point, it's 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 uh, it's really exciting. Coach Basham here. Here's a quick look at some of our signees from this year for the class of 2024. Our quarterback this year is uh, Alex Sikowski. Um, great kid, big time arm, um, no fear in the run game. Fits the mold of the type of quarterbacks that we want to take here at Colgate. What's up, Raider Nation? This is Brennan Walsh, your offensive line coach. Uh, just want to tell you guys a little bit about our class. Got five big jokers coming in for this signing period. Really excited about them. Uh, start off with Bobby Galindo. Um, Bobby's a really good interior offensive lineman. Um, can play all three spots inside. Um, you know, I'll, I'll argue he was robbed of the uh, lineman of the year on Long Island. Um, but one hell of a player. Came out to camp and uh, dominated the camp. So got the offer and committed uh, pretty soon after that. So we're really excited to welcome Bobby into the family. Next guy up, we got Harrison Brown. A uh, huge offensive lineman out of Archbishop Stepanak playing in that really strong Catholic league out in downstate New York. You know, Harrison, tall, long, athletic dude, uh, you know, got onto him kind of late, but saw the film, loved what I saw, met him in person, and he's going to tower over a lot of people in the Patriot League for the next four years. So our next guy up is going to be Andy Boissonnet, another guy from the, uh, from the Buckeye State from a film standpoint. Uh, really excited about how athletic he is. See him dominating guys, getting getting a stance, getting off the football. Really excited to see how he progresses in the next four years. Our next guy is going to be Ryan Murphy. He's out of St. Thomas Moore in Oakdale, Connecticut. Uh, before that, he was at St. Anthony's High School on Long Island. Uh, third New York State guy in this class. Really excited about Ryan. Um, this year, he's played up against both some of the best teams in the country, like IMG. So Ryan's versatility, uh, the speed that he's played at the, the high school level, the size and strength are, are going to be second to none when he gets up to Hamilton. And our last guy in the boat, Dominic Big Mo Warner. You know, he's going to walk in here at 6'6", uh, 290 plus pounds. Uh, you watch his film, you can see where a guy with a basketball background comes in. Uh, really good at moving his feet, played a ton of right tackle during his time over at Bishop Miege High School in Kansas City. He's a big, mean dude, ready to take on the Patriot League. Happy National Signing Day, Colgate Nation. Um, Coach Hunter here, just ready to tell you guys a little bit about this defensive line class that we got. Yeah. We're really excited about it. I'm really excited about this class. First and foremost, they come from great families. And then next is they're all winners. You know, we got within this group is five state championships won. And then lastly, well, think about them all is they're all multi-sport athletes. First up out of New York, we got Adam DeSantis out of Maine and well, Adam's, you know, gonna be a great fit to this. Again, he's a three-sport athlete, played football, played basketball, and also on a baseball. Adam's won two state championships in his time there. During those two state championship games, he was the defensive player of the year. He's been a two-time first team all state and uh, is one of the best players in New York and we're happy to keep him here at Colgate. Next, we got Phil Tabasso right out of PA in the Philly area from Alvin Prep. Um, just like the other guys, Phil's a multi-sport athlete. He's on the wrestling team as well. Uh, Phil's gonna be out there. He's gonna be a favorite. He's gonna be a guy that's gonna be just trying to get after the offensive linemen and just try to get after them every play. And that's what we're looking forward to from Big Phil. Joe Kelly from Chicago, Illinois. We're excited about Joe. He's out of Loyola Academy. The thing about Joe that I love is his tenacity, the way he plays after and that. Again, I joke about it all the time. A guy, I like guys that hate offensive linemen, and he's a guy that hate offensive linemen. And you can see that by the way he plays the game. 
Similar to the other guys, uh, he is a multi-sport athlete. He was on the track team and the wrestling team as well. well. Like I said, we're really excited about Joe. He's gonna be a guy that's gonna plug up the middle fours for the next four years and make everything bounce out to some of these other outstanding teammates that he has. Next, we're gonna go to Canada and we're gonna go talk about Paul Marie. Paul Marie is from Canada but he finished his last two uh, years of playing ball down in Tennessee. Paul's an exciting player. You guys watch that film, he's a very exciting player. He gets after it, he's a good pass rusher as well. And we're looking forward to him to be able to come and get a lot of sacks here at Andy Kerr Stadium. And we're really excited about that. The best thing about Paul, like I said before, is he's a great pass rusher. At, he actually led the state in Tennessee in sacks this year. So we're really excited about Paul. So make sure you guys tune in on Saturday. So check him out. Hey, everybody, fans. This is Coach Ian Pace, wide receivers coach here at Colgate University. Really excited to talk about our 2024 wide receiver signees. Uh, we're bringing in a couple of really, really talented young men. Uh, the first one to talk about is Cam Phillips. Uh, Cam committed to us very early in the process. He's a large body, dynamic uh, athlete who's going to catch the ball at its highest point. Uh, make and create explosive plays. Again, couldn't be more excited about the speed, the athleticism, his ability to get in and out of breaks, uh, and just the overall what he does as a playmaker and what it will do and complement to our uh, wide out crew. The next man I want to talk about is Chief Montavo. A chief is a guy we identified extremely early in the process, came to camp uh, two years ago, actually, as a rising junior, uh, exploded in front of us, did a great job competing on both sides of the football, getting in and out of breaks, real smooth route runner, natural pass catcher. Uh, excited about what he can do and how he fits into what we've already been doing with guys like Trayvon Saunders and Winston Moore. And just really excited to add a guy who has blue collar in nature and works his butt off day in and day out. And we'll continue to add to what is a growing, growing wide out room. And couldn't be more excited about our uh, incoming Raiders. What's up Colgate Nation? This is Coach Eisen here to update you and talk about our linebackers. Uh, that we have signed in this class. Super excited about these guys that are coming in. Uh, the first off is Zach Jones um, out of London, Ohio. Kick return, punter, uh, running back, uh, explosive athlete, uh, did everything for his high school. Coming here to Colgate to be that athletic linebacker for us. Uh, again, go out and cover people, but then also aggressive enough to stop the run. Another great thing about Zach is he's a thousand point scorer for his basketball team, uh, multi-sport athlete, and in basketball, he's looking to actually break the all-time record at his high school. Um, the other linebacker that we're bringing in is Christian Magliacano um, out of New Jersey. A bigger linebacker, about 6'2", 220 pounds. Uh, great player, same thing. Uh, Multi-sport multi athlete, um, running back, linebacker, also played a little tight end. Uh, did a great job for his high school. Um, he's coming in to, again, to stop help us stop the run here at Colgate. Another great linebacker to add to a great core is Bill Coleman out of Harvard Westlake. Uh, he's about six foot three, uh, 220 pounds, a uh, great athlete, um, was all conference in his league, uh, all district, and really super happy again to add another just phenomenal linebacker to stop the run um, interiorly here for Colgate. Jordan Belfiore, defensive coordinator and outside linebackers coach at Colgate University. Overall, as a defense, we got a ton of guys that fit that runner and hitter mantra that we talk about. Uh, the biggest thing that we looked at going into this offseason uh, from a recruiting standpoint was getting guys that were really multiple, that can play multiple positions uh, within our defense. And the flexibility that a lot of our guys in this incoming class give us uh, really is going to be great for uh, us as a staff to kind of put the chess pieces where we want and create those mismatches that we're looking for as a defense to exploit the offense. Noah Faflin out of Illinois. As you can see, he's a runner and hitter. He has a lot of versatility within his defense and played a lot of positions overall for his high school team. Uh, he did some stuff on the offensive side of the ball, making plays. Uh, but the thing for us as a defense, the one thing that you see is his relentless motor from sideline to sideline and his aggressive nature when he comes up to strike. He's a great tackler and he's also a team leader. Things that we look for here at Colgate. My name is Dalton McCran. I'm the tight ends coach at Colgate University. Uh, really, really excited about Mike Bela. Uh We're getting a Class A individual um, and him as a person uh, on the football field. We're getting a young man with a state championship pedigree. Um, did something that hasn't been done before at the Class A level in Ohio, winning three state championships in a row. He was an absolute cornerstone of the program uh, for all three of those state championships. He brings a ton of versatility to the tight end room here at Colgate University. Does a great job in the throw game, making a ton of plays, and also has the ability and the edge to him to stick his nose there in the run game. Um, and be physical and get after people. 
This is Doug McFadden here with the Colgate Raiders. I'm going to talk about the 2024 class, signing class for defensive backs. Um, we signed a really good group of guys. We have six guys coming in um, with this group. And the first one we'll start off with is Tatum Johnson. Uh, Tatum's a corner for us. He's a guy that we saw at camp at TCU. Very disciplined, detailed corner. Has ability to play press and off corner. And, um, and as you watch his high school tape, did a really good job on the offensive side as a receiver. Um, a guy that would go up and attack the ball. So really excited about Tatum and what he's going to bring to the defensive secondary. Next on the list, we have Josh Hampton. Uh, Josh comes from the Baylor School in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Great football player, shows a lot of position flexibility. Um, tall kid, long kid, has the ability to go out and play corner and play safety. Um, very excited about Josh and what he brings to the table. And um, what you're going to see about a lot of these guys, he's a very physical football player also. Next on the list is Jaden Johnson. Uh, we call Jaden JJ. He goes by JJ. And uh, he's out of LaGrange, Georgia. Uh, JJ is also a guy with position flexibility. And as you see, he can go out and play corner, also play safety. Um, very physical football player. And we're looking forward to being able to utilize his physicality and his ability to go out and cover. Um, so he's going to bring a lot of position flexibility to the defensive backs. Next on the list is Connor Rollison. Connor's a guy who is very physical. You see his tape. He runs the alley and a uh, lot of good hits, big hits, running the alley. Uh, shows position flexibility uh, to be able to play either or safety position for us in the back. Uh, he's a guy that uh, shows the ability to cover and cover a, a lot of space as a as a safety back there. Next on the list, out of Loyola Academy, Kenny Langston, another safety for us. Um, won a state championship this year. Um, physical football player with the ability to cover and cover a lot of ground in the back. He's going to come in. We're looking forward to him coming in and competing as a young guy. Next on the list, out of the great state of Florida, we have Reese Allen, kid from the Tampa area. Reese is a very tall and long athlete who shows a lot of position flexibility, a lot of great range in the back. He can cover, he runs the alley and he hits. He's a very physical football player looking for Reese to come in and compete and bring great things to the secondary as well. Coach Livingston here introducing our running back for the class of 2024, Cole Fulton. He's out of Poland Seminary High School in Ohio. Uh, Cole is an extremely talented athlete that we're going to be uh, blessed to have in our room this year. Really looking forward to his uh, contributions for us. He is a great mix of speed and power. Um, he's going to have a lot of versatility uh, in his game, uh, catching balls out of the backfield and being able to run some people over. All right, so very excited about what he's bringing to the table here and looking forward to him putting up some touchdowns for the Colgate Raiders. So like I said, this is a great class, um, but we still have a lot of work to do in finishing this out. So our coaches will be putting in that work over the next couple months so that early February, we're able to showcase you the next round of Raiders coming in next season. To all our fans and alumni and family and friends out there, just appreciate all your support and go Gate.